No, no, give me that. You have the little one. <laughs> When you think of the mighty Uru Warhammer known as Mjolnir, Mjolnir? Mjolnir? What's Mjolnir? The character who springs to mind immediately is usually Thor, and with good reason. Fortunately, I am mighty. The God of Thunder is, without a doubt, the most common wielder of this powerful item, but he's not the only one capable of wielding it. In fact, we believe a number of Marvel heroes are actually more worthy than Thor himself when it comes to swinging the Asgardian weapon around in battle. You're all not worthy. In this video, we'll be looking at a handful of those characters, some of whom have already lifted Mjolnir, as well as some who haven't. Let's get started. Beta Ray Bill has gone on to become one of Thor's closest allies over the years, but when the two warriors first encountered each other, they came to blows and readers learned that Bill was worthy of lifting Thor's powerful hammer during that very fight. But now it belongs to Beta Ray Bill! Bill, just like Thor himself, cares very much about protecting his own people, the Corbinites, and he planned to use the hammer to do so. When Odin arranged a battle between the two in the fiery realm of Skartheim, Bill once again proved to be Thor's equal, as they rendered each other unconscious. But Bill was deemed the winner when he recovered first, then saved Thor from falling into lava. As a result, it was, in fact, Odin himself who opted to have Stormbreaker forged for Bill. Stormbreaker! a weapon that is Mjolnir's equal. Since then, Bill has frequently teamed up with the heroes of Earth. His wielding of the hammer is particularly notable because it made him the first non-Asgardian character to be deemed worthy of it. While many others have proven worthy, it's arguable that Bill is amongst the most worthy, and indeed the mightiest of them all. No list of characters more worthy of Mjolnir than Thor would be complete without Captain America. Steve Rogers is widely considered to be the most wholesome and pure of heart of all the Avengers. I like this all day. So it's no surprise that he's been able to lift Thor's hammer on more than one occasion in the comic books, three to be precise. Most notably, he utilized the weapon in a battle against the Serpent, and he was even able to lift it in the Secret Empire story. It came as something of a shock then in 2015 when the MCU version of Cap attempted to lift Mjolnir in Avengers Age of Ultron and failed. He did budget though, and as it turned out, he was actually faking being unable to lift it. I knew it. So Thor continued to feel special, and Cap was able to wield it against Thanos in 2019's Avengers Endgame. As you probably know, Natalie Portman will be reprising her role as Jane Foster in the MCU, and it'll be a far different Jane Foster to the one we know. Phase 4's Thor Love and Thunder will see Foster becoming the mighty Thor, wielding Mjolnir in live action. And Foster has proven herself to be even more worthy of the hammer than Thor himself. She first wielded Mjolnir in 2014, when Thor became unworthy. Foster can be considered more worthy than her predecessor, not only because of her career as a nurse, but because of the consequences she faces for following in Odinson's footsteps. She had been battling cancer before she became Thor, and at the time of her first lifting the hammer, it seemed like a matter of time before she succumbed to her illness. And despite the cancer growing stronger the more she used the hammer, she kept using it, ultimately sacrificing herself for the greater good. Do you know what would be awesome? The combination of a powerful member of the X-Men and Thor's hammer. Sounds pretty unstoppable, right? Well, one such suitable character is, perhaps surprisingly to some, Storm, who has actually lifted Mjolnir in the comic books. It should be noted, however, that the mutant otherwise known as Aurora Munro didn't initially lift Mjolnir. Instead, she actually lifted Stormcaster, a mirror image of Thor's famous hammer, which Loki created during one of his countless schemes against his brother. Storm initially rejected the new weapon, but she later embraced its powers and eventually proved her worthiness of the original version of the weapon when, in an attempt to destroy Stormcaster, she lifted Mjolnir. Storm's worthiness is further proven by the fact that she managed to change her life from being a thief in Egypt to becoming a super hero and a teacher at Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Moreover, she's the perfect choice to wield Mjolnir when you consider its power set, given that she already has the ability to manipulate the weather. Our next entry is a frog, 
Yes, really. Laugh as much as you want to, but Throg is as worthy an individual of wielding Mjolnir as anyone else. This character originated as a joke, when Loki transformed Thor into a frog using his mischievous magic, which prompted the introduction of an actual Frog of Thunder, who debuted in the comics shortly thereafter in the form of Simon Walterson. Walterson eventually became Puddle Gup the Frog, which, you have to admit, is one of the best names in Marvel history. Puddle Gup briefly teamed up with Thor before vanishing for a while, but when he returned, he lifted a tiny shard of Mjolnir to become Throg. From then on, Throg has protected the various animals that populate his home in Central Park, New York. What's not to love about a hammer-wielding frog who protects his fellow animals? Seriously, what could be more pure? He's genuinely one of the most worthy wielders of Mjolnir in Marvel comic books, however unlikely that may seem to a lot of people. Come on now, did you really think we'd create a list of characters more worthy of wielding Mjolnir than Thor, then not include Odin? You're unworthy! The guy who instructed the dwarves in Nidavellir to forge it and put the worthiness enchantment on it in the first place? When it comes to being a king, a warrior, a father, and a good man, Odin is the person Thor looks up to for inspiration and influence. Which basically means that Thor became worthy of wielding Mjolnir because of his father, and that says it all. Odin is a powerful and skilled fighter who has, quite literally, saved the universe several times. He has ruled Asgard for thousands of years and led his armies into battle on countless occasions. He's also large largely selfless, but ruthless when necessary, and he'll fight even when he knows the odds are against him, such as when he fought against beings as powerful as Galactus and the Celestials. He even died three times in defense of Asgard, before being brought back to life, obviously. So yeah, he's definitely more worthy than Thor. Plus there was that whole Avengers 1 million BC thing. Now we come to some characters who've never wielded Mjolnir, but we believe are actually more worthy than Thor, starting with Marvel's most iconic superhero, Spider-Man. Spidey has in fact wielded Mjolnir in some continuities, but never in the mainstream 616 Marvel Universe. But that version is certainly as worthy as any. Now, Spider-Man might have initially become a superhero for the purpose of revenge against his uncle's killer, but he's gone on to prove himself as more than just a guy with a vendetta. The web-slinger is undoubtedly self-sacrificing, arguably even more so than Thor, and he lives by the adage, With great power comes great responsibility. He has an untouchable moral compass, and when he's wrong, he admits that he's wrong. Such as the time he admitted he was wrong to side with Iron Man in the Civil War comic book arc. He's incredibly brave and regularly fights above his pay grade. Seriously, some of the villains he's gone up against should absolutely slaughter him. And he's become an adept fighter in his own right over the years. Another character we believe to be more worthy of Mjolnir than Thor is Ben Grimm, who is otherwise known as The Thing. It's clobbering time! The Thing is, of course, a member of the Fantastic Four, and there are a number of reasons we think he's particularly worthy of the hammer. For starters, he's obviously extremely mighty, and in spite of the fact that he wasn't born a superhero, he's embraced that warrior spirit and loves a fight when it's for what he believes is right. He's a very moral hero and has a good heart, and he will selflessly go against popular opinion to protect what is right, even when everyone is against him. For example, during the Civil War comic book arc, he found himself on Yancey Street in New York, which was a hotbed of civilian opposition to the Superhero Registration Act. Grimm, who was only visiting his old neighborhood, got roped into crowd control. And when a young man died in a riot, he became so disgusted with both sides that he left the country for France. Bearing in mind Grimm isn't as patriotic and American as Captain America himself, he couldn't act against the law, but as he felt the law was wrong, he couldn't support it either, even though his best friend Reed Richards was a staunch pro-registration advocate. Now we come to a character who might not immediately spring to mind when you think of characters who'd be perfect for wielding Mjolnir. But hear us out, because we're talking about Charles Xavier, the mutant otherwise known as Professor X. What do they call you? Wheels? Professor X was born into money, so he doesn't have to work as hard as he does, which is generally the sign of a good person. But it's his decision to devote his life to protecting humanity from evil mutants and safeguarding innocent mutants from human oppression that truly makes him worthy. Xavier's school for gifted youngsters has long been a safe haven for hundreds of otherwise ostracized kids, and Professor X's resolve in fighting for their rights can only be admired. A slightly more obvious choice to wield Mjolnir, but again, someone who never has before, is T'Challa, aka the Black Panther. Wakanda forever! Like Thor, T'Challa is a king, 
while that's by no means a prerequisite when it comes to wielding Mjolnir, it certainly won't do him any harm to have that in common with the God of Thunder. As a result of his royal status, he's a great leader, both in terms of ruling his people and leading them into battle. He's also a bona fide warrior, having been trained as such since he could first walk, and he fights with a code of honor to boot, which only helps matters as far as worthiness goes. T'Challa also regularly fights above his pay grade. He's little more than a mid-tier character on the power scale, but he regularly takes on extremely powerful foes without any concern for his own well-being. With an Uru hammer, a vibranium weave armor, and Black Panther's incredible fighting skills, he'd be a hugely potent fighter if his worthiness ever came to fruition. What did you think of this video? Are these characters more worthy of Mjolnir than Thor himself? Can you think of any others who are? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Screen Rant for more great videos like this one. See you next time, guys.